Fast food employees of Reddit, what is the most disgusting secret that your chain keeps from the public? Everybody wants to believe that fast food restaurants are disgusting and have terribly low standards for everything, but the reality is that they wouldn't be able to stay in business if this was the case. On the contrary, many fast food places have absurdly high standards for cleanliness and food preparation. For two years, I managed a Jimmy John's franchise, and frankly, you could eat off the bathroom floor, and that's not an exaggeration. Corporate studers keep such a tight watch on individual franchises that a business owner risks losing their contract if they stray from compliance in any major way. The food may not always be the best quality, though JJ's meat is surprisingly decent quality, but you know that you get what you pay for. If you want a $5 meal, most fast food restaurants will provide that to you without you having to worry about what's going on behind the scenes. I work at McDonald's where my father supervises. All the stores he supervises are incredible clean and pass every health inspection with flying colors because my father is super anal about cleanliness. Probably the most disgusting secret we have is that you can order a sausage McMuffin and folded eggs on the side and it will be a whole dollar cheaper than a sausage egg McMuffin. Not gonna say which chain, but the one I used to work at was very clean and well managed. The only real secret we had was, well, nobody was drinking the sodas they thought they were. We didn't use regular syrup in the fountain machines. If you ordered a coke, you got panda cola. If you ordered a 7-up you got panda lime up. Sorry. Ex Starbucks barista. All the pastries come frozen and we defrost them. We think they are overpriced too. Don't complain about the price. If it's too expensive for you then Starbucks is not the place for you. Everything is overpriced here. DD is cheaper and even cheaper is just going to the grocery store. Lots of syrups are made with milk and or honey. So they are not vegan. This is problematic for customers who pay extra for soy milk because they want to avoid animal products. Cleanliness and freshness really depends on the individual location. I worked at a 24 over 7 location with some of the highest traffic in the US, comparable to Times Square Starbucks, and I assure you that hardly anything was properly sanitized, and things were not always fresh. We tried but it's very hard to keep up with cleaning, and such when you have 50 customers in line and people yelling at you wondering where their drink is. If you're rude, chances are you might get decaf shots. Cause fuck you. Or if you're rude, and you order a skinny drink someone might use real syrup, may it go straight to your ass, bitch. But no one would ever do anything other than this pettiness, it would be super fucked up to actually ruin someone's drink, or make it gross. If it's rush hour and you ask for a complicated drink, we hate you. We are supposed to regularly check and log the temperatures of the milk carafes that are available for customers to use, but we get so busy that the milk usually has been sitting out for hours, rising above safe temperatures. The ice machines are probably nasty. I don't think we ever cleaned ours in my two years there. Iced coffees and iced teas are automatically sweet and using simple syrup. You can switch for another syrup free of charge, or ask for fewer pumps of syrup, if you prefer it unsweetened. We are supposed to sanitize the foaming nozzle between drinks, the container holding the sanitizing agent gets super nasty very quickly from all the milk, but it doesn't get switched often. During rush hour, baristas often leave the milk jugs out, rather than return it to the fridge between use, because you're pouring milk literally every 30 seconds. Unfortunately this means the milk temperature rises above safe levels and bacterial growth duplicates. Please don't order a special secret menu drink. There is no secret fucking menu. Tell us what strips you want in it, and we can make it, but if you just tell us a ridiculous name, Snickers Crunch Frappuccino, chances are we have no clue how to make that, and we probably will make it up. Which it probably will end up tasting fine anyways. Unless you're used to having it made one way and suddenly someone makes it up using different ingredients. When you approach the cashier, put down your phone, and know what you want to order. Be polite not rude. It's crazy how many times people come up, and are like hold on, I'm getting a drink for my friend, let me call her real quick. Um no. I worked at an outback steak house for a little bit. A guy took a dump in a urinal. Sometimes we would microwave pre-cooked steaks. A lot of stuff we would advertise made fresh that day, it was frozen and microwaved the majority of the time. 
I worked at a financially failing Domino's pizza franchise. Behind the scenes were incredibly clean. Much cleaner than my own home. The entire restaurant was disassembled and cleaned each night. We'd close at 2am and not leave until 3am or so. To open the store you need to reassemble everything. All products have dates. Food was thrown away on their date. Temperatures checked by staff. Inspections by the county health agency were a periodic thing. The medical device company I now work for. Dirty. Cheats the rules. Makes fake documents. I think we even have fake document department. That just falsifies things. That are expensive to do. TL. Doctor failing franchise was clean. And followed the rules. I worked at Sonic in high school. Do not, ever, get the grilled chicken. Sure it's grilled. From a frozen chicken patty. After it was cooked, it was then thrown into a steam broiler to keep it warm. The rule book said replace them every 2 hours, but my manager would yell at me if I pulled them out earlier than 4 hours. After 2 hours, the chicken becomes hard and rubbery and tastes like crap. Besides that, the worst thing about that place was the floors were greasy as fuck, and even proper work shoes didn't help prevent slipping. I worked at McDonald's and honestly, there wasn't really anything exceedingly gross or secret. These days the big fast food chains are pretty transparent about how their food is produced. If anything was gross it was because of somebody doing something they weren't supposed to that was against company policy. If anything I guess I always though it a little unnerving that the smaller hamburger patties, the non quarter pounder ones, went from frozen to fully cooked in about 20 seconds, if I remember right. Beyond that everything seemed legit. If anything I would be more worried about smaller, independent restaurants, diners etc. I worked at Arby's in high school, and the facility and everything was pretty standard for cleanliness. However, as with most restaurants, people can be gross, and there's not much you can do to get away from that. I don't know what it is with restaurants and people sleeping together. People be horny, is what I'm saying. Well, there was this girl who worked there, and she messed around with one of the guys who made the sandwiches. During a few minutes without customers, they sneaked back to the supply room and he finger banged her back there. I was cleaning up the front counter, getting ready to go home, when the drive through beep came on, so the girl rushed back to the window to take the order, and he hopped up to the slicer, to start making the food. After the blissfully unaware customer drove off with their meal, I heard him say to the girl, Ah, man. You know what I just remembered? I didn't wash my hands. I worked at a Starbucks where they allowed a full on roach infestation. More on the DM and managers then corporate but it really got to a point where Seattle must have known. They were everywhere. The pastry case, in the storage, around the dry powders, but the worst was a sore one. And just to make this clear, this 100% happened, crawl out of the espresso spout in the machines. As employees, we were on the front line trying to defend our location, even though a huge majority thought it was disturbing. Eventually, one of our regulars put in a complaint at the health department. It was about the time I put in my two weeks notice and my manager blamed me specifically for it. I honestly didn't care. Starbucks is a hilariously simple job with the hardest task consisting of lifting 10 pounds and the most complex task being holding a milk pitcher at an angle to create foam for milk. I don't know if anyone will be able to shed light on the quality of a chain vs the quality of local management. I used to work at Chick-fil-A and most employees were just dumb teenagers, so things weren't always done by the book, mostly in regards to hold times, or whatever. Like the hold time is 20 minutes, and it might stay out 30 minutes, before going into the bin, to be made into chicken salad. But I justified it to myself by thinking, if you cooked at home, set out food for dinner, ate with your family, and then refrigerated it, the leftovers you make the next day world have gone through worse conditions and that's without a heat lamp. Also we had a lot of paper and food waste. The peanut butter topping at EQ just sits in a big metal container and hardly, if ever, gets used. And in my time there it never got switched out. Sitting there the oil eventually separates, and when someone actually wants something with peanut butter it's a bitch to pump out, actually it's impossible I just had to use a spoon, and needs to be stirred to mix it back in with the oil. I dk if this is as shocking as some other nasty secrets but it grossed me out, and made me sad, because I love PB. 
Oh and a frothy shit at orange Julius is just salt and powdered egg and some mysterious dairy extract. Don't ever fool yourself into thinking anything there could ever be considered healthy. I doubt anyone would read this, but here's something you might not realize. If it is a chain that has lots of locations over multiple states, think Burger King, Steak and Shake, Five Guys, they don't really have disgusting secrets that they keep from the public. It is the smaller mom plus pop places you actually have to worry about. You don't know how much they care about the business, or if anything is being done to code. Worked at Chick-fil-A. Christian extremism and chicken do not mix. Our managers, myself included, were all white. The rest of the staff consisted of only black women. This was deliberate too. The regional manager was an older man. Racist, but not in a violent way. He saw black girls in the stereotype Uncle Tom way. Hence he called them. The gay thing however was not enforced. Worked at Taco Bell in college. The most disgusting thing was probably that salaried managers made about the same or less per hour than hourly wage employees. There was really nothing unsanitary. The food is all low quality cheap shit, of course, but there's nothing actually wrong with it. I don't know how the hell people get sick after eating there, they must have incredibly weak digestive systems. There's never any raw meat in the store, it all comes pre-cooked, and just gets warmed up. Oh, actually, thought of one thing, the taco salad bowls are all fried up in the morning, so if you get one late in the day, it's been sitting in the warmer for a while. That's about it. Sometimes the chalupa shells sit around a while too. If you want fresh ones, just ask. It's appreciated if you come inside the store, though, so it doesn't affect the drive through times, as they take a couple minutes to fry. Our manager is really stingy when it comes to throwing away food. He will keep leftover eggs from breakfast and use it the next day, and if any of the food on the line looks dry or is starting to look thick he'll just pour a little water in it, and there you go, fresh beans. Sometimes when we receive the truck full of veggies the tomatoes are really squishy and brown. I work at Taco Cabana and luckily for you guys they're only located in Texas. Alright, I've worked in fast food, in causal dining, and fine dining, in kitchens and front of house. In my experience, casual dining is usually the most dirty slash unsanitary. In fast food, supervision and rules are the most strict, so they are usually pretty clean. In fine dining, you have kitchen staff that takes pride in their work and actually knows why all those health department rules exist. They know how to handle raw meats, contaminants and allergens correctly. They don't follow all the rules to the letter, but they know their shit and they care, so stuff is usually pretty damn clean and food safety is important to them. Casual dining, especially non-chains, is right at the intersection of people not knowing slash caring about food safety and not having strict rules and supervision. That's where shit gets gross. Of course these are just generalizations, but pretty true in my experience. It's been a couple decades since this happened, but I had a friend who worked at a MCD. They would cook chicken nuggets and put them in a warmer with a 25 minute timer. After the 25 minutes, they were supposed to throw away the nuggets and cook new ones. The one he worked at just hit the timer over and over. Who know how long those nugget shaped petri dishes would sit in that warmer waiting for an unsuspecting customer. Being heavily involved in fast food jobs since I was old enough to work and am now manager at a fast food place. Drugs. Everywhere. Drug deals in the back of the kitchen, in the parking lot, in the bathroom or walk-in. It used to be worse before apparently. My BF who is higher than me told me in the old days they would all hang out in employee parking, even if it wasn't their shift and just everyone would constantly switch cars while doing various drugs. When I became a manager I cussed an employee out when she came in on meth. Not about her coming in on meth for not doing any work. My BF also tells me he came in and worked in the kitchen for a bit when it wasn't even his shift, because he was rolling. Lastly, to this day 90% of the employees come in with eyes redder than Satan's dick. I used to be one of them, but a higher up singled me out and now I don't do it to spite them. This is most fast food places. I guess all I can tack on is, everyone hates the corporation portion. Lots of faceless assholes, that have probably never worked at the actual restaurant. So cussing us out for only putting the amount of ketchup they tell us to in the back, or because we charge for water is kind of pointless. 
We don't sit around deciding what evil thing to do next. We just do what we are told for money. Okay everyone. I just left my job at Wendy's that I've been at for quite some time. I worked my last shift this last Friday. You want to know why? We get treated like shit. That's the most disgusting thing. That's the big secret. I know at any job the potential for that will always be there. But it gets to the point where when my felon coworker is throwing food at me and spraying me in the face with a power hose and drunk people are coming in, reaching across my counter and threatening me and nothing is getting done about it, I knew I have to leave. And I did. Best thing I ever did to improve my quality of life. I previously worked at a coffee bean and tea leaf, and that location is probably the cleanest place I've ever set foot in. Every night the ice machine would be shut off, and in the morning, after everything had melted and drained, it was washed and sanitized. Any ice drinks for the first hour or so of service were made from ice we made an ice trays in the back, while the ice machine was filled for the rest of the day. All of the machines, espresso, would be cleaned twice per day, the first being, whenever we had downtime or a lull after 100pm, and the second being at closing. Coffee carafes never sat out longer than 45 minutes. Bake case was emptied and sanitized nightly. Store was swept, and any errant chairs pushed in every 15 minutes. Creamer changed out every hour. This place was clean. On top of that, once every two weeks, the entire staff would come in for a staff meeting and clean the store floor to ceiling. I'm talking mopping multiple times, cleaning out the air vents, polishing all of the wood in the store, etc. Honestly, the most disgusting thing about it all was that we would get free drinks slash bagels slash pastries whenever we wanted, within reason. I gorged myself on bagels and matchalats all the time. It's been 3 years since I worked there, and I still get a free drink and a bagel every time I go, and one of my old co-workers is working. Oh, and my friends are disgusted that I don't have to pay. That's it. The coffee bean is literally baked goods heaven for me.